Trish. Hey, Anna. It's good to see you. Welcome to River Place. We are so excited to have you here. We are going to start our trip to, uh, with a visit to performing arts. So Yay. let's head on down. Awesome. Tell me a little bit about the performance that you have coming up. So it's going to be about um, teamwork and uh, getting into a game and how to uh, be a good sport. Can we see a little performance, maybe? All right. Why did you select this piece? What went into the thoughts of like well, having them do that? Well, there's a play. It's called "It's Time. To, it's Time to Get Into the Game," or it's how you how you play the game. And I ordered that. And then um, an an ex performing arts teacher, Miss Hasselhoff, actually helped me rewrite the play because I didn't like the way the play was written. And so we added in a lot more interesting things. It has like people from ESPN newscasters that are filming River Place University and. Um, they're talking about all the new athletes that they have coming and how there's all kinds of different games and um, it's a really, really good play, so it's going to be lots of fun. Let's go. There's some fun stuff going on all around our campus. We are bringing back the fun. We are yeah. bringing back the fun and so I have Ainsley Walker and Quinn Conkey and I want to introduce you to my friends. This is Anna Smith, Miss, Miss Smith, and Trish Bodie, Miss Bodie, and they are on our school board, and they're here checking out to see what fun things are happening at River Place. That reminded me of the fun project that you did. Ainsley, tell me a little bit about this fun project. So, um, there are actually a lot of animals that are endangered, and we wanted to make a poster about them to like see if maybe people can make them not be endangered anymore. And a lot of people have done them, and it's been really shocking to see how many are left and what they're going through. When could you tell me what y'all are gonna do today, this afternoon? Um, we are going to be sharing this to Miss Collier's class and Miss Wade's class, and I just can't wait. Yeah, really Y'all are so excited, and tell me, who, who is your audience there? Um, a lot of the kindergarten kids, they, we thought that they would love to like have a little bit of a brain break and just learn about some of the animals that are endangered. So I just love that you took your passion about the snow leopards, learned more about them, and now you're going to share that with some younger kids. And this is because you asked to do it, right? Yeah. I didn't think it would go this far. I thought it was just, I think that they were just going to be like, maybe not, but surprisingly we are going to do it, which is, I was very shocked whenever she said we are going to do it. So I was really excited. So we have stations going on right yes. now. Oh yeah, station. Um, station time. I love station. And uh, do you have a pride card? Where is your pride card? Oh! Finish mine. So my friend. This is my second one. That's your second pride card? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about it? How did you How did you get a second one? Well, and then, so every day I have SRP, and every day I get a pride for SRP. So that's why I got it really fast. Man, so you like SRP time? Mm -hmm. That's a great time, isn't it? All right, I can see that you've colored in 12 spots on your pride card, right? Yeah. For showing positivity? Because I, uh, I always finish one of my prides. So now I'm on my second one. Well, I'm so excited for you, and I can't wait to see you maybe on Friday when you get your prize. Could you tell me about P is for positivity? P is for positivity. Like, let's say if I don't think I can um, see what um, this glue is about. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. Positivity is thinking you can do it. I love that. I love it. So when you're struggling with something, positivity is thinking you can still do it. I love that. It looks easy, but it takes a lot of effort to get a stations classroom running oh, this yes. smoothly, right? Oh, I, yes. Um, yes, I have a second grader. Like the sec sense of calm <laughs> and the sense of independence in students knowing what's expected of them. Um, so this is a great example of that in action. Because this class, I mean, if you think about it, hasn't had a normal school year ever. First grade specifically, you know, yeah. has, has been um, an interesting year to look at in that perspective because 
kindergarten is monumental in a student's foundational, you know, development. And not having that normal kindergarten has definitely had its impact and our teachers had to shift gears a little bit on their approaches to right. instruction um, as a result. almost like, re, you know, trying to regain lost time, yeah. So yeah. that's what we're doing here as a small part of, um, you know, recognizing where we've been and what we have ahead of us in order to best serve our students.